Hey there folks, Gary Bradley from Creative Frontiers here and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can create a neon glowing sign inside of Adobe Illustrator. So let's dive in and take a look. Now the bulk of this work is going to be done to these objects and uh, what we've got here essentially is either text that I've turned to outlines or it is stuff that I've drawn from scratch with the pen tool and um, the ring region around the background well that started out life as uh, an ellipse and I cut it in various places because of the unique nature of this piece of artwork I kind of custom built a lot of this but in terms of applying glowing effects you can apply them to anything inside of Illustrator you can even apply them to editable text if you wish to but I have created custom shapes in here that's why we're not working with editable text so in order to get underway well, I'll select my large object here which is grouped together and then go to the window menu and open up the appearance panel you will notice that in here the appearance panel categorizes or characterizes exactly what's been applied to the object so this uh, has only a stroke appearance of quite a large 32 point stroke and um, you can left click on an individual appearance you can modify it from here as well so the appearance panel is a really great central hub inside of Illustrator from here I will then go down to the bottom with just the stroke appearance targeted for edits click on effects go down to stylize and then from here choose feather now why feather might you be asking so if I turn on the preview checkbox we'll see kind of what feather does and if I increase the volume there to say six millimeters which are the units in my document this really is what feather does it softens things so we will get a slightly more translucent look and it will fade things out around the edges if we're going to create a really good kind of getting towards the realms of accurate neon glowing effect we want to get the glowing effect around the characters and the shapes in here absolutely but we want to also achieve a lovely pingy style to the lighting effect and feather will help us do that it will soften the edges of the stroke so from here if I just set a more appropriate stroke size of uh, 1.75 sorry the radius size in there and then from here I can click OK so we get a little bit of softening that now is only applied to the stroke appearance and from here then we need to keep stacking and building up and intensifying this look so to do that I can go down to the bottom of the appearance panel this icon as you probably aware now usually creates something new but in the appearance panel it duplicates the existing appearance in there that's targeted so if I click on that it will create a copy of my original stroke the original one is at the bottom the newly duplicated one appears higher up and therefore in terms of an appearance if I change the stroke color to a lighter red you'll notice that it hides the original one because it's lower down and it's therefore on the object itself behind but if I change the stroke weight reduce this by say a quarter to say 24 points if I just tap up in here get to 24 points we have the beginnings of seeing that the larger darker red one in the background and we've now added another stroke on top of that and in front of the object itself it also has if I expand the toggle the feather applied to this new one as well that I duplicated so that's already built in that's all good I can collapse this and then create one third and final stroke appearance on the same object so go down to the bottom duplicate the second one notice in there the, the stroke weight set to 24 points like the second one is I'll first of all change the stroke color to a light neon red color in there well, it's just a light red color but to be perfectly honest that I've called neon and then from the stroke weight again I will reduce this even further and I'll set this to 16 points so we've got 16 24 and 32 points in there I've kind of staggered the size of them very purposefully and kind of consistently as well by keep dropping them back in in certain percentages so now we're kind of seeing the makings of a nice intense glowing effect to finish this off we need to actually add the glow as well all we have at the moment are multiple strokes with a softened edge now to apply this to the whole object and not just one of the individual strokes after left click on compound at the top go down to the bottom click on effects go to stylize and then choose outer glow from here um, it gives me the options available I'll turn on the preview checkbox in there but we don't really see uh, a particularly handy glow that's because here at the moment the actual glow color is set to black so if I click on that you could just pick any color that you want to from the color picker but I actually want to use one of my neon reds so if I click on color swatches in there and then choose neon one click OK 
we now start to see some of that glow showing through. Now in terms of the opacity, well, I want to set this quite low. So I'm gonna set this to 20%, but I do want to set the blur very high in there. So I'm gonna set that to four millimeters, hit the tab key to update that. And then we'll start to see the makings of a larger, but less intense uh, glow around the outside. When I've done that, I'll click okay. It adds it right down to the bottom. Again, I can left click on the original outer glow, duplicate that one and add a new one, always added above the original. Click on that one to make it active left click on its uh, properties there to jump back to the dialog box and from here now we're going to intensify this appearance so i'm going to increase up to 50 percent opacity when i click in the next field down i'm going to change this one to 1.75 so as we increase and as we add each outer glow we want to make it smaller and more impactful and then if i turn on preview we start to see that appearance building up in there so i'll click ok and one final third one, duplicate it in there. That appears higher up. Left click on that one. Click on the hyperlink to go back to the panel in there and the options. Turn on preview. I'm going to leave the opacity in here set to the same as what it is now. But I am going to change the blur to be a very, very low amount. So uh, 0.35 in there that I experimented with in advance. And if I hit the tab key, they will then see that update. And we so we now get around these characters a lovely general glow but by adding multiple strokes and multiple outer glows we really get that nice tight pingy kind of glow around them i click ok and that essentially finishes the glowing appearance now if i want to use that somewhere else the best thing probably is to go to the window menu go down the list to uh, graphic styles where i can capture this appearance so if i left click on compound path in here just to make sure i've got all of the object active for appearances then i'll go to this icon here click on new graphic style it adds it into the list gives it just a generic name of graphic style in there notice that I've already added a couple in there already so I can from now go to this object and the rings around the outside and I already have a graphic style 3 in there as it's imaginatively called to add an orange glow I can click on the shapes for the characters at the top and at the bottom they have uh, kind of a light blue I can go to graphic style 4 and apply those in there as well so you can see how once you've done um, the hard work in the appearance panel and made that effect, you can capture it and apply it anywhere else in the existing documents. And that's how we create a neon glowing sign inside of Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching, folks. If you've enjoyed the video and found it handy, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, you can go click on the subscribe button to see more content in the future. And if you don't want to miss a single Adobe Techniques video, then you can click on the alerts button and every time a new video is posted, you'll be notified. Until next time, farewell friends.